with you, and we got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams. Greetings, devilings, and welcome to Cyberpunk 2077. This is future Avak talking to you right now, though technically, from your perspective, still past Avak, just slightly less past Avak than the one who will be your host for the rest of the episode, and that's so I can offer a bit of a foreword to this series. This episode is an episode zero of sorts. In it, we're going to cover character creation and lay the tracks that are going to carry us for the many, many hours that follow in this playthrough. It's also a stream VOD, as the rest of the series will be. There are lots of reasons for this, but the chief one is that I feel that Cyberpunk 2077 is, well, it's too big of a game, really. Uh, it's got too much atmosphere, too much lore for an edited YouTube series to do it justice. The temptation to cut out long drives to, to skip to the action or prominent story elements would take away way too much of the character of the world, in my opinion. So if you enjoy nothing cut out content and long plays where we stop to listen to random NPC dialogue, read data points and generally immerse ourselves in the world, but don't get along with Twitch and watching live, then you will be able to find all of the VODs over on Avac After Hours. Links to my second channel and the series playlist, as always, in the video description down below. Additionally, as I'm going to be streaming this pretty often, you can expect the VODs to go live frequently, so there will be plenty of cyberpunk content for you to binge if you have the time. Now, with that forward out of the way, I shall pass you over to my past, past self so you can enjoy the rest of the episode. Take care, everyone. The expectations of tonight will be character creation, prologue, and a bit of the main story. We are going to be making the character as as uh, as we go, not necessarily by consensus, but we're going to be uh, enjoying ourselves and uh, just just taking our time, exploring the world, having fun, drinking in the atmosphere of which there are copious amounts. There will be bugs. There will be hilarious bugs. There will be frustrating bugs, and we will do our best to manage those. This this is your warning, though. For those of you who may be offended by nudity, understand uh, it's not going to be the focus uh, because the game is the, the, the game. The focus of the game is, is survival. Uh, nudity ranks a bit lower than that, but we're not cutting it out because it is integral to the atmosphere of this game. In the same way that I would not cut the music out, I'd rather not upload it uh, like Death Stranding to YouTube because I couldn't cut the music out without there being issues. And they, that was integral to the feeling of loneliness and wonderment in the Death Stranding universe. The CD parts of this game are integral to the atmosphere of cyberpunk. So they're gonna be staying in. So bear that in mind, use that to inform your decisions. You know, we're not gonna be, you're not gonna be dwelling on things or, or stuff like that, but uh, yes. You know, forewarned is forearmed, as the saying goes. Okay, it is time, at long last, for us to begin this playthrough. We've had the long forward, uh, forward rather, and no doubt this is where YouTube is going to be joining in with us. We're going to be uh, moving forward into character creation, where we're probably going to be sending quite a lot of time. If I'm feeling particularly generous, I might cut some of the umming and ahhing and deliberating out of the uh, YouTube VODs. But those of you watching live, you're going to have to live through every beautiful, horrible, terrible, wonderful, agonizing moment of my deliberation over the character that we're making, because we're going to be stuck with them for many, many hours. So we better make this choice right the first time. Right, select difficulty level. Well, okay. So, I mean, based on on pictures alone, it has to be very hard. However, I'm not so uh, my my uh, my ego isn't so fragile as to require that much reinforcement. I could I could live with hard. Uh, I mean, honestly, normal will probably be fine. Enemies will have all the tools at your disposal to take V on, but primarily only enemies at a higher level will prove a challenge. Eh, I probably wouldn't want to go with that one, actually. Combat will be a substantial challenge. The effective use of perks, cyberware, combat gadgets, and consumables will be essential to survival. Or very hard. Buckle up for a serious challenge. Careful character development, the clever use of items, game mechanics, and the environment will be necessary to help V make it on the streets of Night City. What do you think, Chad? Let, let's have a let's have a a, a quick quick uh, show of hands. Who wants hard versus very hard? And thank you very much, Valpo Drank, for the ten months, and Kamadosh for the fourteen, Dioch and Vaur, and Valentis for the thirteen months as well, and Shadow Star for the eight months. My lord, thank you also very 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 much. It looks like we have most like a, an almost overwhelming amount of choices for hard. I'm seeing 
two or three very hards, and that's it. I'd like you to have just a little space to play around with your character. Hmm, yeah. Paper boys, that's a, that's a good way of looking at it. Very hard is probably really good for a second playthrough where you know what you can make a character into from the get-go, but we're going into this completely blind for the most part. Um, I say for the most part because I have played through the prologue, but I didn't really have any chance to develop a character or anything in that time. Um, hard will allow us to take some fluff roleplay options and not necessarily gimp the run. I like that. I like that. That's, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, that does make a lot of sense. What's the new Twitch term for blind playthrough? Um, first playthrough, I guess. And there isn't really... Um, because a first playthrough doesn't necessarily convey the same level of, of information. A blind playthrough, by its very definition, is your first playthrough because you're going into it without any uh, foreknowledge. But a first playthrough just means that you're playing it for the first time, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going into it without any foreknowledge. So I guess we've kind of lost something, but I, you know, I, I, I guess I understand the, the reasons behind it. Um, but yeah, this is, for all intents and purposes, a a, uh, a first time run with no no prior knowledge of the game mechanics, uh, what we we're going to be able to really do outside of like just you know teaser trailer level literature. Okay, so. With that said, we're going to go on hard. Now then, here are the choices that are going to dictate the first like hour of the game. Let's 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 stop saying like 20 to 30 minutes because it's me playing. We're going to be thorough. It's going to be at least an hour. And that's after character creation, which is probably going to be like two. Um, so the life path, some events and dialogue options in the game will be different depending on your choice. Also, from what I understand, there will be certain certain um, cut, uh, sorry, not cutscenes, but uh, like side quests that will open up as a consequence, um, or will rather close off, uh, depending on the way you look at it. Thank you very much, Mr. Stu, for 16 months and a satanic koala for six months. <laughs> I'm not going to go for the obvious one there, but you got you got the first the first number right. Let's let's see if you can make it to the second number. Right. Okay. So we've got the nomad roaming the badlands, looting scrapyards, raiding fuel depots. Life on the road wasn't easy, but growing up in a nomad clan has its perks: honesty, integrity, and a love of freedom, qualities that few in Night City possess, and no amount of money can buy. I like it. I like it. Or already already kind of feel feel myself gravitating towards that just off that street kid they say if you want to understand the streets you got to live them gangs fixers dolls small time pushers you were raised by them all down here the law of the jungle dictates the weak serve the strong the only law in night city you have yet to break okay kind of liking that one too actually that doesn't sound uh, that doesn't sound too bad at all and then corpo few love the corporate world with their lives uh, sorry, few leave the corporate world with their lives. Fewer still with their souls intact. You've been there. You've bent the rules, exploited secrets, weaponized information. There's no such thing as a fair game. Only winners and losers. Hmm. Hmm. I feel... Let me just move around my pot filter here in a second. I feel that uh, the corp life... That screams Dark Havoc, honestly. That very much screams Dark Havoc. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. In a way, that that's, that's sort of Carolinus X, kind of. Since Carolinus was very much a part of the machine. A cog in the Omnicide's greater, greater machinations. Um... Not necessarily evil, but certainly, certainly not exactly good either. Uh, street kid or oh, nomad? I could definitely see pseudo being a street kid. In fact, that's more or less how how I wrote the character. Uh, for those of you wondering who I'm talking about, my tabletop RPG characters that uh, I played with role for it. Pseudo, the the technomancer, definitely kind of. Uh, a, well, 
not 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 so much brought up on the streets, but forged on the streets. And by streets, I mean Renraku archaeology. But uh, more or less the streets, kind of. Just a little bit more. <laughs> more, uh, more blood. A lot more blood, actually. So much more blood. Ooh, you play tabletop RPGs. I'm definitely in the right place. Ah, tech run a street kid. Um, yeah, we could definitely do that, actually. That sounds sounds pretty cool. <laughs> the Renraku Arcology? Did you mean the super ha super happy fun time clown house? Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only smiles down there. Uh Nomad. This this kind of speaks to me as well. Now, no matter what, like all of these are gonna gonna have different different pros, different cons. Um as a nomad, we're going to be an outsider from Night City. As a corpo, technically, I would imagine we'd be a bit of an outsider from where we're going to be doing most of our most of our you know character's career. Street Kid would probably be the strongest play, simply because we'd we'd have fundamental knowledge about the place where we're operating. We'd we'd know we'd know the, the 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 laws of the jungle. We'd know we'd know which which uh, people to push against, which which people to to you know avert the gaze of, so on so forth. We'd know the movers and the shakers. I'm not particularly interested in a corporate run right now, though. I think for me, it's definitely Nomad or Street Kid. Nomad, Havoc. Nomad! Okay, okay. We're going Nomad, then. Alright. Now, body type will be going... It, it doesn't really matter so much, from what I understand. Uh, select V's body type. Uh, V's appearance may sometimes affect behavior of other characters. Okay, so it does matter. Alright, skin type. We didn't want, like, the acne scars or anything like that. And we definitely didn't want that soft of a blush. It, <laughs> we're not going with any of these. These hairstyles are ridiculous. No, they're not ridiculous. I'm sure someone would like them, but not us. You know, we need something... Yeah, I, th I think I think that will do. Thirty-five it is, I think. Uh, no, actually no. We're gonna go with uh, thirty-eight. Yeah, we'll go with thirty-eight. Um, blue hair. Because everybody's gotta have blue hair. And giant robot boots. We need eyes that have seen the world. Those are eyes that have, that have seen things. Those are the eyes that we're going with anyway. Uh, eyebrows. Something around there is pretty good. Um, that being said, uh, right, eyes good, eyebrows good, eyebrow color. No, we'll go with with regular color for that. Seven nose. Yeah, I think that's uh, good enough. Mouth, though. Hmm. The problem with the PS5 is it's running the PS4 version, and the PS5 version isn't out until next year, from what I hear. 
Oh, wow, really? That sucks so bad. That sucks enormously. Somehow, I have a good game through character creation in no time. I see, he's cheating. Uh, well, uh, 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 cheating is such a strong word. That's what a pod person would say. No, a pod person would say. <laughs> whilst pointing at you with righteous indignation. That is correct. That is what a pod person would say, and I may have just outed myself. Beard. Now. Beard color. I have like a friend made me Welsh cakes this week, and they are delicious. Perfect with cup. Oh, I'm glad. I'm very glad. I'm glad that you like it. Natural bar. Cyberwayne. Look at this beautiful specimen of a man. Facial scars. It's facial tattoos. Piercings, though. There we go. Um, as for the piercings, we have no eye makeup, although some of it is rather good. Now I think about it. But it would be such high maintenance. That is really good. But no. Avak was just informed by Parallel Avak how to do character creation. Ignore any prior streams of Cyberpunk. Absolutely didn't happen. That is 100% correct. No. No streams of Cyberpunk happened before. Oh, actually, that may be way too many blemishes. Yeah, let's go back down. I love how... Uh, no, that's way more. I really wish this would allow me to see a bit better. <laughs> like, if I want to look at the body in order to change blemishes, because it affects the body. Why does it punish me? Well, that's too many. Ah, but stupid or silly question. I have probably answered before. Would you rather be an all-consuming flesh monster like you were mentioning in Kaplerth or any other degree of mutant, or would you prefer the purity and, cust and customizability of steel, a la Tech Priest or Cyberpunk? Well, you see, the problem is, is they are limited by their mortal shells. They're not fully customizable. There's a point where you can't do any more. That point is when you run out of metal. But an all-consuming flesh beast now. An eater of worlds and suns and nebula and black holes. Never runs out of matter. Ever. Until it runs out of universe. And then it just eats time instead. A 
an all-consuming nanite monster. You see, this is the thing that most people don't get about nanites, is they think nanites are just small robots. More than likely, the realistic version of nanites that we're going to get are proteins, programmed proteins. Nanites are going to be auger, not tech. Organic technology is still technology. Well, I'm, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll grant you that, yes. Yes, organic, I mean, you know, we are technology. Um, but it won't be steel. It won't It won't be mineral. Uh, nibbles on body tattoos. Yes. There we go. Beautiful. There we go. Uh, I think... Tonk. There we go. A prime specimen. Ready to move forward to the next stage. In fact, some people really were sad that the flower neck tattoo wasn't chosen. Really? Okay, well, we can go back and do that. Um, I mean, I kind of like like this one, though. Now that we've got it. But I can do the the that tattoo, if you want. Kind of all works together, then. Oh my lord, you have to go so far. It does all work very, very well together with the, the flower tattoo on the neck. What do you say, chat? Do you want the flower tattoo? The chin one fits fantastically well with the beard. The flower fits fantastically well with the rest of the body tattoo. I've been playing this since I woke up and really captured the essence of the setting and classic cyberpunk stories in general which is not probably uh not surprising given that uh, uh, podsmith was actually involved in making it on more than uh, a token level mm, yeah i read about that okay i'm gonna call the vote now Balau or lady sheila what does the what do the results sit at right now chin tattoo it is very well this is where we get in and even even though we already tested it in the game and running around and going to a place and it breaks again and at that point i'm just gonna be like no sort this give up there we go so how close is cyberpunk 27 to the tabletop rpg or is a kind of same world with different fire uh, i mean It's kind of... Uh, that's a hard one to to, uh, to nail down, honestly. It's a really hard one to nail down. I would say it's very, very similar to the to the aesthetics of the RPG. Okay. Brace yourself, everyone. That's it. Our speedrun of character creation. Boom! Straight through. Basically half an hour. No, no, uh, no take backsies. No, no do-overs. Bam! Just like that. V. Backstory. Nomad. Roaming the Badlands, looting scrapyards, raiding fuel depots. Life on the road wasn't easy. But growing up in a nomad clan has its perks. Honesty, integrity, and a love of freedom. Qualities that few in Night City possess, and no amount of money can buy.